Remember the other day when I said I'd be back with the grill? They must have paid attention. Morning. That's not that's not off-road fuel. Promise it's green. See? Green. Told you what red. If you didn't know, red fuel is off-road fuel. It's just a dye they put in it. I think it has something to do with the sulfur content also. But basically, we don't have to pay a fuel tax on off-road fuel because it's for combines and tractors and stuff that goes off the road. Anyways, I don't think we're going to get a harvest. I don't know. I guess if the title of this video says harvest in it, we harvest it. Okay, go ahead. Hold up. But we're transferring grain again this morning, hauling grain. That's really the main holdup from us doing corn. Once we get that done, once we get that done, we will be back into the corn. But we might be waiting on the dryer, so we very well may be doing double crops again before we do the corn again. I don't know, we'll see. The white death is finally, finally melting away. I have no problem with snow, unless I have crops on the ground. Then I'm not a fan. Like I wanna get those crops in the bin and then it can snow. While I haul these beans in here, well, I've been trying to get them in there for a couple of days now, so I'm glad to finally get them in there. Then we can use the big truck to transfer grain instead of the, uh, instead of the little steel trailer. See that tag hanging right there? That computer automatically will recognize that tag, and however I had the last load that I hauled in there with this truck is how this load will go, on, go as far as selling, DPing, contract, unless I go in there and change it, which I've got to do right now. Got it. So right now they're getting a moisture sample, and they're also uh, basically they have this. They have a probe. I know it sounds funny, but they probe the truck. That uh, sucks corn up through uh, this air hose, drops it down into that test shack right there, and then she's going to run a moisture sample on it and check for floor material and the quality of the grain. While she's grading it, I'm going to go over here and get weighed, and then depending on the grade and the moisture, they'll assign me what pit to go dump into. And this car gallery is only two pits, basically you have a wet pit and a dry pit, but they also both take beans, so uh, sometimes you got to wait on the pit to clear out, but it's usually not too bad. For the most part, they have the dry corn go to one side, the dry beans go to one side, or the other side, I think. Yep, we're perfectly legal at 80000 Right on the money. How about that? Perfectly legal. For whatever reason, every time I pull off there, I can't remember what dump I'm going to. I'm pretty sure it said dump two. One time George did that, he went to the wrong dump. So he just decided to back her on out, hopped in the truck, kind of in a hurry, it could have been. If you look, the white Volvo's got the tape, duct taped mirror. He'll be real happy when he sees that in this video. Well, we just dumped our beans. I forgot to show up, but there's a guy in between the two dumps sits there uh, behind the computer basically and he directs the grain where to go and if you think about it there's a lot of storage here so that's a pretty important job and each load might be going to a different bin depending on the moisture so he basically manages where the grain's going and all that stuff but there's a bunch of guys running around here loading out cars checking dryers there's, there's a pretty big crew at this place but they also have like oh, probably three million bushel of storage or so they usually dump in the middle of harvest they'll dump 300 or 400 trucks in a day I might be able to exaggerate. Two or three hundred, I know. Now we're going to scale out. The same computer will recognize that card, and that's how it basically knows what truck I am and which load I just dumped, and it will basically give me a load summary ticket that will have uh, my moisture, for material, damage, stuff like that. I always print a duplicate copy just because I'd rather have two than not than none. So. They don't charge for paper. They charge for everything else. They don't charge for duplicate copies. That's probably coming. Man, 100 by 200 Morton sure would look good over there. Send it to the uh, PO box if anyone's interested.
Okay, in order to get a place to put dry corn out of the dryer, we have got to haul corn out of this bin right here, into that truck, take it back to the dump, so it can go into the leg and into this big bin right here that we can't reach with the dryer. It's slow, it's inefficient, but it's temporary. Hopefully next year we don't have to do this, because there will be auger right through here, connecting all three of these bins in this row to the leg. And then this bin will be tied in the leg up there. But for now, it's not done. That's one. Which one are you going to? Three? three. Right there? Uh, yeah. Alright, apparently while I was going, they pulled some more out of this bin, out of the side draw, but it quit running out of the side draw. And what they pulled out was 19%, so we need that unloader on that bin. We're going to have to pull more out of it. Probably just going to put that wet corn in the dryer. Once we get that unloader, probably dry it, circulate it right back in or something. I don't know. That's a pain. BJ, you want me to move it? You got it? You sure? Yeah, just moving this thing out of the dust. All the bees' wings are blowing this way. If we're going to get her dirty, we want to get dirty with mud, not, not corn dust. Oh, maybe you really can't figure out how to start it. We'll just sit here and watch and enjoy the show. Get your popcorn ready. Oh, 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 we found the key. <laughs> and he got it. You guys have heard me talk about pouring a bin. Basically what that is, all the fine stuff, all the dust, it basically all goes to the center and that's where it settles. Well that stuff prevents air from flowing through it adequately like, compared to where it, if it wasn't there. So right now, that first load has a lot of fines in it, has a lot of dust in it, bees wings. I'm just going to take it to town. We normally do this anyways, and then we'll take a couple loads and put in that bin. I really wish we had the unloader on that bin so we could get the rest of that wet corn out. We're just going to have to circulate it around once we get the unloader on it and try to blend it off and move it, I guess. Yeah, it's one of the best parts about my brother helping. He always makes coffee. I'm kidding. He doesn't always move. And I just walked around the test shack here and looked over at the, the wheeler here and noticed something. BJ actually noticed it. Keep in mind, I wasn't here. You guys, uh, 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 the door's open. Uh, there's some corn. You guys remember back when uh, I believe the comment was, well, I know the doors are shut. Larry dumped that one, directed at me. Dad, he did it. I feel like I have to set up. That took too long. Yep, Dad left the hopper doors open. What well, it is, he's wanting to try out that new grain vac. There's easier ways, Dad. Yeah. Pro tip, when it's cold, always volunteer to pull the truck up. See that guy on his phone? He's a lot colder than I am. It's like Dad's ever getting the cooker fired up. That's a freaking mouse right there. Right there. He is still very lively. Uh, BJ, he's uh, transferred into this truck. So I'm going to take this one to town and then we'll have both of them transfer. And go fairly quick that way. Not a whole lot slower than if we actually had the leg hooked up, but a whole lot more or less convenient. Alright. What do we got here? Amazon find LED lights. Hopefully they work good. These are floodlights. So I'll put those up out here at some point. Master electrician's probably going to come out and do that. Dad's gonna take me after the other semi at the other farm. First, I'm gonna grab a lazy man's coffee. Look okay, at Dad and BJ, they're moving the combine now. There's still some beans in the cart. I'm gonna get them off of there and take them to town. And then when I get back, I think we're, well, I think we're gonna start before I get back. Let's try to finish up the field that we were in last. Last corn field we were in anyways. Wasn't thinking we were gonna to get to do that today, so pretty happy about that. Dad wants to let the ground skip it up a little bit before he gets started. So while I'm waiting on him, I'm gonna unhook the ripper off this tractor and put it on that tractor. Assuming it will start. It did not. Seems like the jumper cable's getting these more nearly. Let's see if Brother BJ can back up that thing without knocking the zone builder off the jacks. 
Or if he can figure out, oh, he figured a three-point hitch out. I wasn't sure he'd be able to figure out how to drop that. Well, we got her hooked up. Might as well try it. Got to make sure it's going to work. Let's see if I can figure out how to set an AB line this thing. It's kind of playing around. I don't even know what they call it in John Deere talk. I don't know if we can use all this steer. <laughs> That's not our field. Ooh, okay. Yes, there we go. All right, we're doing it. Pitch is pretty easy to figure out. Still can't figure out the auto steer. Yeah, this whole time I thought I could drive straighter than that. It's different. That 8400 was the biggest front wheel assist tractor John Deere had at that time. Pretty sure that this 8400 was the biggest front wheel assist tractor John Deere had at that time. Might still be. Look at, look at the size difference. That was also about 175 horsepower difference. Right, I'm going to go ahead and put this out of the way. Basically, I was just trying this. Dad and BJ, they just got started, so I'm going to take them a truck here real soon. Just kind of playing around. I might get this out in the morning and try ripping some, depending on how much frost we have. Or I might run the Turbomax, I'm not sure yet. Both of them need fuel. I was kind of hoping just to grab the one that didn't need fuel. But looks like either way, we're fueling. Slightly different. Definitely feels paid for, though. Okay, here we are. Try to get this field down here tonight. Kind of sloppy. It froze and sold out today. Uh, a little bit sloppy. We're thinking we can get it off okay. We've got about 30 acres in one field, 10 acres behind the hill here. Try to get that off. I got to get my combine set from uh, from uh, corn or beans to corn now. So that's what I'm doing now. Get it all adjusted up. Come right to head. Every time you switch the head, you gotta recalibrate it. Oh boy, it's a mag and a half. Man. Back, I got to change my head there from uh, 39, 30 feet, 40 feet to 30. Okay, that's that. So now we gotta calibrate it. We gotta start it. Every time you switch heads, you gotta calibrate them up and down. procedure and raise it up okay, it'll count 25 then you lower it count 25 up to 50 then you raise it and it counts that one up to 75 then you go back down this is the last time and it'll either take or it won't take it should take Okay, we're good there. Go back to the main menu. These little presets right here. That's the height. I want to head through the field. Got a little bounce to it and I can change that. That's what I'm doing now. Move that up a little bit. This corner's standing okay, I think, so shouldn't have to go low. So I think we got that. Now the iPad will fire up. I don't think it's dead. Nope, it ain't clear dead. Evening folks, about a quarter after five. Get an early start today. <laughs> and try to get this last 30 acres down here below the house before it gets, uh, I don't know, too late, I suppose. We got started here. Uh, and a writer there with me a little bit. Phil Brown, the wheat tech guy, with me, Steve Rose, with me a little bit. We're doing this field here, probably the worst field I've been in all year. Pretty good, the water really affected it.
Brother just called me and said they got the first load, so I better go get it. I guess it's better than no loads. Now the goal tonight is basically just to finish this, I think there's like 35 acres down here. That way, first thing in the morning, we can uh, move to the next field. We have a lot of patches right around here. Kind of a pain in the butt, but with the folding head, it's not too bad. Man, that butthead's got his brights on. Oh wait, that's BJ. This time we're gonna make sure we got the consigner going to the right spot. I'm pretty sure it is, but it has been moved once today. So let's double check it. I don't know what you guys call it. George calls it consigner. Dad calls it a distributor. I call it both. Basically, I'm talking about the thing up there that you turn to send the grain to different bits. Tester's brand new. This is its first season and it keeps throwing that code. I don't know what that code is, but that's unacceptable. Things aren't cheap and they're kind of important. I'm going back to old Dickie John. This one might be older than I am. Probably not, but it's pretty old. Hey Dad, you got a coffee, I'm making this 19%. Okay, this is how beautiful grow that. Dad just called. He said they got that field done, so that's great. That was a quick 35 acres. I didn't think we were gonna be able to do tonight, so progress. Now hopefully tomorrow we can obviously do more than 35 acres in a day. Hopefully we can do that tomorrow. But I do know the first thing tomorrow morning we're gonna have to come over here, transfer more dry corn to this big bin because we're gonna be out of space. We're not gonna be able to let the dryer run all night. We we'll have basically enough room to dump the trucks and maybe a load or two until we get her fired up. So we're going to, have to make room tomorrow morning. So with that in mind, it'll probably be late afternoon before we get started again, which stinks. I'm going to check how much room we've got in this bin that we're transferring dry grain out of. This is also the bin that the dryer is dumping into. So like I said, I don't think we can go. I don't think we can dry corn much longer. Probably about get it full. It's full. It's, uh, it's a good thing we didn't let it go much longer. Let's start running out the eaves. Hey guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, I guess we'll catch you in the morning. Mm -hmm.